have decided we're going to do a bar crawl. There are 18 bars on this ship, and we are going to start at the Lime and Coconut. We're going to limit ourselves to one drink per bar. I promise. Maybe. to try one of the signature drinks at each of the bars. We're gonna see if that's a possibility or not. We'll see. But this is the Goombay Smash. The lime and the coconut is the signature drink, but this is like one of the signature drinks too. Two different types of rum, orange juice, and pineapple juice. Oh boy. That's rummy. That's pretty good. So I went with Michelob Ultra. I'm telling you, this is one refreshing drink. It came out very ice cold. It is made with the finest barley and hops available. It's very delicious. Only 2.6 carbohydrates and only 95 calories. It's very delicious. Very sudsy filling. Cheers! All right, that's the lime and coconut. Bar number one down. Onward to the next bar. Okay, so we've come up a deck. We are on deck 16 now, and we are at the frozen lime and coconut. Yeah, they have a whole entire frozen daiquiri section at lime and coconut, so they're gonna get some frozen drinks. I'm probably not gonna get me a beer here. I don't think they serve beer here, but we'll find out. All right, so Elisa went with the Miami Vice, which is half pina colada and half strawberry daiquiri, and got a nice little garnish of pineapple in there. Give that a taste. Mmm, all strawberry in that one, but that's very yummy. Is it yummy? It's very yummy. It looks very yummy. Mmm, it is yummy. <laughs> Do not pull too hard, you will get a brain no, freeze. brain freeze. Ooh. Small sips. No beer here for me, so I'm gonna have to wait for the next bar. What did y'all get? Hey, you got the Miami Vice too? No, it's the Tropical Melon Blast, so oh. pina colada and watermelon. Ooh. Is it really good? good? Yeah, mellow, but Denver. good. Peachy paradise. Oh yeah. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong. My man said, hey, we do have beer. Get me a Michelob Ultra right here. Thank you. Reggie right here in the house. Thank you, buddy. All right, killed it. Moving on. Where are we going? We're going to the swim and tonic. Okay, we're at the swim and tonic. But here's the problem. I'm the only one with the with the shorts on. I do not have a swimsuit on, but I have pulled my leggings up to my knees and I'm gonna wade in right over there and see if I can get to the bar. Okay, well we made it to the bar. Elisa's <laughs> over here looking at the menu. So we are sitting at the bar, kind of. Our feet are on the stools, but we're close enough that we can place an order. So this counts. I know what I'm getting. I'm gonna get a Michelob Ultra and whatever the missus wants. Pirate in a coconut tree. What? Pirate in a coconut tree. Hard truth, toasted coconut rum, Captain Morgan's original spice rum, coconut water, lemon blueberries, and elderflower tonic. What could go wrong? That just sounds delicious. All right, so J and D are back there. We're gonna take we're gonna take their order because they have actual clothes on. <laughs> but we got them. That's what friends are for, right? Wait a minute, D said, oh no you don't. She's like, I wanna get in here, get I my mean, feet wet. It looks fun, right? It does look fun, it is fun. <laughs> Next week, yeah. What'd you get? Um, a limoncello and tonic. That yeah. sounds delicious. That sounds good. Come on, Jay. Come on, roll your leg, roll your pat legs up. I can't, I got my good socks on. Yeah, so a little tip. You can actually walk up in your clothes, okay? because we're doing it. <laughs> Dee's back there, she's fully clothed, but she's got her little she's skirt. She's her skirt up. Pulled up. I pulled up my pants, but and we're at the swim up bar. Yay, we got our feet in the water and we're having drinks. How cool is that? We're making it happen. What is this concoction? A pirate in a coconut tree. A pirate in a coconut tree. It smells good. Mmm, that's different. 
I'm not sure if I like it or not. Oh, I know you don't like it. But I like the smell of it. It smells really good, but it tastes kind of weird. I think it's the tonic water. I'm not a big fan of tonic water, but the rum part, the uh, flavored rum tastes good. Okay, so what I got here at the Swim and Tonic doesn't have tonic at all, but it does have the finest barley and hops that you can find. This is the champagne of beers. Actually, the champagne of beers, I think, is the Miller High Life, but who cares? <laughs> it's enough. delicious, and it tastes exactly the same as the first bar, the lime and coconut. <laughs> okay, that's a wrap from Swim and Tonic. We are moving on down to the Cantina Fresca. I love that they have a slide going from deck 16 to 15, and I'm about to take it. Here we go. I got a, uh, it's like carpet burn, but not carpet burn, it's slide burn. <laughs> All right, this is bar number four, Cantina Fresca. Okay, so the only beer they have here is Corona and Dos Equis. I'm going Dos Equis this time. Well, if you go to a Mexican cantina, you have to get a margarita, right? So, but instead of a traditional margarita, I went strawberry margarita. That's the best drink I've had so far. Hey. That's good. And if you go to a bar that also has snacks, you know, it's all about balance. If you're gonna drink, you gotta eat. I lied, they do have Michelob Ultra. So they, Michelob Ultra, Dos Equis, and Corona. And honestly, you probably should get like anything but a Michelob Ultra at a Mexican cantina. But I'm doing the whole like low carb thing. I know it's, it's, it's stupid, but it's what I'm doing. Basically a taco salad. We got some chicken, some beef, shredded lettuce, rice, Spanish rice. And then I got some uh, some beans. How is it? It's good. It's real good. Okay, we are on the way to the hideaway bar. All the way after the ship. I'm excited about this one. Have not sat down and had a drink at all at this particular bar. I'm looking forward to it because the views are spectacular. Well, judging by the looks of it, it's packed. Might have a hard time getting up to the bar. Y'all, look who I ran into. Trev of Trev and Chill. What's up, guys? What's How up? you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you liking the ship, man? Honestly, I it's was crazy. very excited for it. There was so much hype around it, and I, it almost felt like it was going to be hard to live up to that hype. But for real, when you get on board and you feel the spaces and you see how everything was so well laid out and thought out, it's like they have taken every, everything up above and beyond. One hundred percent. It's the ultimate family vacation. The ultimate vacation. It really is. The food is good. Yep. The entertainment is good. Mm -hmm. And there's so much room. It All never feels congested. Here in Hideaway, it's like a totally different feel from if you're up at Thrill Water Park or if you're down in the promenade. Like every space has a purpose experience that comes with it. 100%, man. I couldn't agree more. Anyway, y'all, check him out. Trevin Shell's fantastic YouTube channel. Great content. They're the best. Keep up the good work, buddy. Yeah, man. All right, so we are at the Hideaway Bar at the Hideaway, complete after the ship with the most spectacular view. This is probably one of my favorite places or favorite bars just because of the view, uh, obviously. And I have not sat here one time yet, but I'm about to get me a drink. Guess what that's gonna be? <laughs> Megalob Ultra. God, it's so boring what I drink, I know. I don't have any like fancy drinks that I'm gonna get, but oh well, I'm having fun nonetheless. All right, so we're changing it up. Because they don't have Nicola Ultra, we got Miller Lite, which is the original light beer, so I'm good with that. America's finest. I got the Oh My God, which is basically their version of a Mai Tai. Oh my God, Becky. And I got them to throw some strawberries into it. Cheers. Try another set. That's strong. That's good though. Yeah, what is love? So the DJ is doing some what is love. 
which I now know the original artist is called Hathaway, thanks to my friend Jay. I did not know that. I was going to go up there and say, hey, could you play the Night at the Roxbury soundtrack? What is love? But look, everybody, as soon as he cut it on, the whole crowd starts going like this. Okay, we have made it uh, to the base camp ball. We've made it to base camp, but we're not gonna be here for long. No, we're getting a round of waters here at base camp. And, a, and a Michelob Ultra. Nope, water. We are officially at the bar. Wa bottle of water each. So at base camp tonight, my drink of choice is a bottle of water because I am pacing myself with 18 bars. You kinda have to take a break and just drink some water. But also base camp has snacks and so the other night we tried kind of one of everything at base camp and we decided that the Wisconsin cheese curds were hands down the best thing here. And they are $6 a basket and they'll take the edge off. What are you getting? I am getting a Michelob Ultra that because- That is not a water. Because, oh well I have water, but as my friend Jay said, you are weak, you cannot hang. I'm going with Old Faithful. And your water. And my water. <laughs> While we are on our bar crawl, we're gonna pop into Deserted and get a milkshake as well. They do do boozy milkshakes, but I'm not sure if they're doing them tonight. So we're just gonna get a regular old milkshake. Okay, so I got a sample of the vanilla milkshake. Let's see what this tastes like. Mmm, <laughs> that's actually very good. This is just a little uh, sample cup, so if you come in, and just order a regular one, then it's going to be a very big cup. It's got all fancy um, designs on it and things like that. But for this preview cruise, we get little samples, but it tastes very yummy. We are at the Rye and Bean in the Aqua Dome, and this is a coffee and tea bar. So I got the hibiscus minute, tea punch. Coffee. No, it's tea. It's the hibiscus tea punch. So it's made with Prosecco and a mixture of uh, teas and syrups and things like that. And I have a hibiscus flower on top. It's beautiful. And it's tasty. We're all full of a lot of liquid. And we are here at the Aqua Dome. And look, the people are practicing their tricks and their flips off the diving board. And I'm going to tell you, it's quite impressive to watch them practicing. It's amazing what they do. Everybody in here has like a 10 body. Like I'm talking eight packs, buttocks that you would not believe. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible to watch. Okay, so next up is the Trellis Bar in Central Park. I'm gonna have a beer here. Thanks. It's a very beautiful evening. I love Central Park. Where are you going now? Well, I think we're gonna divide and conquer since there's two bars here in Central Park. Jason's gonna get a drink from Trellis Bar and I'm gonna go down to Bubbles and get a Bellini. She's gonna get, what's a Bellini? It's a champagne drink with some wine. But no. you hate champagne. I know, I'm taking one for the team here. Okay, so here we are. Me and Jay. Jay's got a thumb through. He's gonna pick something. He's drank a lot of juice tonight. He's he's really full. I drink the same old thing over and over again, but that's okay. I like what I like. Is it gonna be a Mick Ultra? No. Oh. How did you know? Surprise! Surprise! Right. So here at the Trellis Bar, I went with the almighty Michelob Ultra. Full flavored. Superior light beer. I can't wait try this. Oh God, it tastes familiar. So Bubbles is a little spot, little like hole in the wall in Central Park, and they only serve champagne and champagne drinks. I just love the ambiance in Central Park. So we're sitting here, there's a guitar player just picking 
his acoustic guitar. It's just peaceful. There's a breeze blowing. It's just lovely. So Jason has this Michelob Ultra. I went to Bubbles and got a Bellini, which is Prosecco and a peach puree. It's actually not bad at all. at the Lemon Post, which is the bar in the Surfside family area. And their menu is one side alcoholic beverages and the other side non-alcoholic. But we've chosen an alcoholic beverage and we're getting the Escape Raft. And this is Tito's Vodka, Coconut Water, Lemon Juice, Coconut Syrup, Oregate, Oregate, whatever that is. Fresh pineapples Orgy. and homemade lemonade. Cheers. So first sip, not so good. But I think it's because my taste buds are a little off from all the different types of drinks. So I've taken a few more sips and it's basically a, a buzzy lemonade. So that's not bad. A nice little pause for the cause. We had, you can't come to Surfside and not ride the carousel, right? It doesn't matter if you're a child or an adult, that was fun. Oh, it's always fun to ride a carousel. You're never too old to ride a carousel, never. at the Schooner Bar, AKA the Schooner Bar, because that's what I've been calling it for like ever. And I was told it's called the Schooner Bar. But anyway, whatever, call it what you want. We're here, but I gotta say that here at the Schooner Bar, AKA Schooner Bar, these are the absolute most comfortable seats of any bar we've been on so far. on this ship has been tremendous. Really have enjoyed everything that I've heard so far, everything that I've seen, entertainment, good stuff, y'all. So I got the parrot punch, which is rum, campari, and different fruit juices. Oh, that's tasty. Woo! That's got some tang to it right there. You gotta love Elisa. It's tasty. Woo. You got a tang on the back end. It tasted good, but it got a tang on the back end. <laughs> oh. uh, Jay got the toasted marshmallow old fashioned. Yeah. What does it's it taste like? Bourbon. It's got marshmallow syrup, cocoa bitters. It's like a s'more in a glass. Oh. I have the Southern Belle, which is bourbon, blueberry puree, mint, lemon juice, and soda water. It's really good, actually. Not too sweet. I like it. So I decided to finally change it up. I decided to get a glass this time. And it's, for some reason, it tastes a little different in a glass. It's delicious. What was in that glass? I think a little water. In a glass. It's delicious. So the pirate punch, I thought, okay, I'm gonna get a rum punch. I like rum punch. How can I go wrong with rum punch, right? But that Campari, is bitters. That's what's throwing it off. So the first sip, I'm like, oh, this is good. No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. So I'm not drinking that. So I have a Malibu and Diet Coke, and I'm gonna try this instead. Oh, that's way better, way better. That's good, that's good. This is called the Alisa Special. It's actually pretty good. I inherited it from her. It has bitters in it, which I enjoy. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for giving me a donation. Nice. <laughs> To the Overlook Bar. There is absolutely nobody here, 
because the aqua show is going on right now. We're gonna catch the later show, but because we're trying to tick off every bar on the ship tonight, this one closes in about 10 minutes. So we came down here to say, check, we made it. I gotta tell you, walking in, the show looked absolutely amazing there in the Aqua Dome. I'm just gonna say, everything that I have seen on this ship so far, as far as that entertainment has been excellent, excellent. The food is excellent, the entertainment's excellent. The staff, the crew, excellent. Very wonderful, positive experience. What did you get to drink? So this time, I went with the Michelob Ultra in a can. Wanted to change it up from the last bar. Still got that nice flavor, still got the sudsiness, still got that great barley and hops flavor that I know and love. I am still nursing my Malibu and Diet Coke from the Schooner Bar, so I did not order another drink here. But let me just tell you, the outlook at night is beautiful. I love it here during the day. This is one of my favorite spots on the ship, but at night it's just ambient and everything's glowing. And right now we hear the music from the Aqua Show and the water from the Aqua Show. I'm digging this area. There was literally a pop-up piano man in the elevator. Yes, in the elevator. All right, so we are moving on. We have arrived at the dueling pianos. This is bar number, what bar number are we at? We've lost count. Love, we've lost count, but we're going Eleven, in. Maybe I don't know, who cares? Come on, let's get a drink. They're amazing. She is hilarious. This is fantastic. signature drink here at the Dueling Piano Bar is a Snap Crackle Pop, which is a gin-based cocktail with a whole pack of Pop Rocks. So we're literally gonna pour these Pop Rocks into this drink. This is my new favorite drink of the bar crawl. This is really yummy. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Bar number, we've lost, lost count, but it's a, been a bunch, and I have decided to change it up. I am going with the glass this time <laughs> with good old Michelob Ultra. Mickey, oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Where are we? Playmakers. Uh, you just thought you were going to stop me. We are at Playmakers, and of course, nothing exciting, but I'm going with Michelob Ultra. But we're at bar number something, and uh, we're all feeling nice and toasty at the moment. Are we not? Yes. And we have how many more to go? Did we determine? Five. five. We have five more to go, and I think we got this. We found a couple that we stayed at a little bit longer than we should have, which was the piano bar. Let me tell you what. The entertainment at the piano bar is absolutely stellar. Okay, so what we have on here is some chicken wings, which I'm gonna give Jason mine if he likes them. A little burger slider, looks like an egg roll. And these are the Playmakers fries, which have like a sauce on them and some cheese.
So we've landed at Bolero's. We've lost count how many bars we've been on at the bar crawl, but the entertainment is a killer. Our two favorites so far, the piano bar and Bolero's. Excellent entertainment. I am back to having rum. This is a painkiller, so it's rum, pineapple juice, orange juice, and simple syrup, I think. But I like this drink. decided to divide and conquer here. Jason got a Michelob Ultra at the Point and Feather, and I went over to 1400 Lobby Bar and got a cable car, which is, I'm gonna read it, Captain Morgan's Original Spice Rum, Orange Curacao, Lemon Sour, Aquafaba, which I have no idea what Aquafaba is, and a Cinnamon Sugar Rim. I like that Cinnamon Sugar Rim, that's for sure. I think the aquafaba is all that foam on top. It's actually pretty good. Dee brought up something very important. Dee, you're going to have to... Oh. So we started the bar crawl at 4 p.m. and it is 11.50. So it's almost been eight hours to get through all of the bars on Icon and we still have two to go. Insane. Oh my gosh. Easy, easy peasy. Spotlight karaoke now. So let's see if maybe Jason wants to sing tonight, but if not, we're just gonna enjoy the uh, vocals of the other people who have already signed up. We are close to the finish line, but we're not at the finish line. Almost. We have one or two more to get. One. Yeah. One. We're so close. So close, no matter how far. We close down karaoke. We close it down. We go out walking after midnight, <laughs> searching for lose <laughs> more drinks, I guess. <laughs> ah. So that's a wrap. We are at Lou's in the Garden Center. I mean, <laughs> we heard wrapping up. I think we are 18 bars into it. We did it. Uh, we uh, we have wrapped up. Listen, we have wrapped up. Tiring day. It's been a fantastic day, but listen, I'm telling you, I can't feel my face. <laughs> uh, at we're at Lou's. Lose jazz and blues. Jazz and uh, look, they've turned the house lights on. The band is gone. Everybody is, it's closing time. Last call for alcohol. Cheers, good night. It's been a wonderful day with my friends, uh, J and D. So good night. So good night.